Tonight, we hear from the family of that teenager who died yesterday. They tell Eyewitness News reporter Todd Quinones more needs to be done to avoid another tragedy. 15-year-old Ruben Polanco's drowning was absolutely preventable through an interpreter. His father told us his son should be the last to die like this. They said, what are we waiting for to just control that problem? For more kids to die? Polanco's family wants more fencing and more strongly worded signs at the spot where he drowned. The 15-year-old was swimming with friends Monday evening here in a dangerous spot along the Taconi Creek on Fisher's Lane just off Ramona Avenue in Juniata Park. The boy went underwater and might have gotten trapped by debris or the current, and he never resurfaced alive. At least three other teens have drowned here over the past 12 years. Let Ruben be the last one died in there. His family believes that if there were more clearly visible, more strongly worded signs, Ruben, who did know how to swim, might have thought twice about going so deep into the creek. In fact, we only found one sign here telling people not to swim, and that one sign is located some 20 feet up in the air, and it's obstructed by a lot of tree branches and leaves. And that sign doesn't tell people about the dangers of swimming here. Now, Ruben's grief-stricken mother and father plan on pursuing city officials, advocating for new signage and some new additional fencing. So all the pa parents don't pass through the pain that I'm going through. In Juniata Park, Todd Quinones, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.